Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 10 out of Jake, man. I'm rocking with y'all and y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on Florida rapper Glock 9, how he's charged with five attempted murders after allegedly shooting at his own family's house and facing up to 103 years mandatory in Florida State Prison. Second degree attempted murder in the state of Florida is punishable by up to 15 years in prison. Now imagine having five counts. The new state attorney for Florida's 9th Judicial Circuit, Monique Worrell, was sworn into office January 8th. First quarter, she filed five counts of second degree attempted murder against 20 year old Jaquavia Smith, more commonly known as the Florida rapper Glock 9, who the state is now trying to portray as the gang leader of AFNF, short for All Family No Friends a group that's been feuding with rival Orlando rappers, and more specifically, a group called 438, whose rising star is Orlando rapper Hotboy. Behind this ongoing feud, there's been multiple shootings and murders, including the death of a high school football player, a 14-year-old, and a three-year-old who was killed playing outside in a drive-by targeting the child's father. If you want the full breakdown and get caught up, I suggest you go back and watch my previous video on Glock 9 and the war in Orlando. But back to the five attempted murder charges. On July 23rd, 2020, Orlando police were dispatched in reference to a female caller residing at 4440 Bleasdale Ave in reference to her house being shot up. Then the call disconnected. When attempts were made to re-establish contact, dispatch was advised the wireless customer is not available. Officers arrived on scene and discovered that the roadway in front of the residence was littered with spent shell casings. Multiple bullet impacts were observed, mostly around the front facing window of the home. Responding officers quickly determined there were no injuries and that five people were inside of the residence at the time of the shooting. The homeowner, Latoya Smith, agreed to provide a sworn testimony that would be recorded inside of the home by the on-scene sergeant. She explained she was sleeping when her daughter began to wake her up trying to get her down to the ground. Smith said she was still half asleep when she realized what her daughter was saying when multiple gunshots started coming from outside. Smith grabbed her other daughter who was sleeping nearby and pulled her to the floor, crawling, until she reached the bedroom at the back of the house. Smith then ran to her son's bedroom, finding them in the closet, gathering them to her room. Once the gunfire stopped, she exited the house asking a neighbor to watch the children as she called police. Smith explained her oldest son wasn't at home and he was likely the intended target. His name is Anthony Tyrese Williams, also known as Orlando rapper Cutum Reese. She said that on July 8, 2020, one of Reese's sisters, whose name was hidden from reports, had a half-brother who sent a message on Instagram saying, way bigger than me. If I was you and your mama, I'd leave that bitch. I can't stop them boys from doing nothing now. Smith explained that Cutum Reese's cousins with rapper Glock 9, stating Glock 9 wants to be the only rapper coming out of Orlando. She said she didn't see any of the shooters and was unsure how many vehicles came. Speaking with the sister, she explained Reese had an ongoing feud with Glock 9, saying Glock 9 is jealous of celebrities acknowledging Reese's talent. She then said how she was on the phone with Reese's girlfriend, who asked if he'd come home yet. She said she wasn't sure and told her to hold on because she heard a car pull up. Looking outside the bedroom window, she saw two vehicles and several boys jump out, estimating between 8 to 10. She recognized her half-brother nicknamed Ballpark and Blackie, aka Glock 9, as they exited separate vehicles holding guns. That's when she grabbed her mom and they started firing. She then identified her half-brother whose name was withheld from reports, saying she hadn't spoke to him since the Instagram message. She said she is 100% sure she saw Glock 9 and her half-brother and that she recognized them by their hair. When asked for clarification on further identification, she said I saw Glock 9's face. When asked if she saw her half-brothers, she said no, but she saw his hair. On July 24, 2020, Reese's sister was interviewed again, shown a driver's license of Glock 9 and immediately identified him. Revisiting the moment of the shooting, she explained when Glock 9 exited the vehicle, he was holding one gun with two hands. She was making hand gestures suggesting the weapon had a drum or extended magazine. 
She confirmed she believed she saw her half-brother, but was 50-50 sure. Based on eyewitness testimony, placing Glock 9 at the scene and firing a weapon, probable cause was found to charge Glock 9 with five counts of second-degree attempted murder, throwing or shooting into an occupied dwelling, and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Now I told y'all in the beginning of the video, second degree attempted murder carries up to 15 years in prison. But based on Glock 9's criminal history, he faces a minimum mandatory of 20 years for each count of attempted murder and a three year minimum mandatory for possession of a firearm by a convicted felon in this case, equaling a mandatory 103 years in Florida State Prison. Keep in mind, this is only one of the multiple cases Glock 9 is fighting. The FBI have involved themselves in the war in Orlando and are seeking to take down the participants of the AFNF vs. 438 war, with Glock 9 being portrayed as a gang leader. Everything at this time is alleged, and Glock 9 is currently inside 33rd, the Orlando County Jail. Now what Glock 9 is being accused of is fucking crazy. This kid's been caught with mad guns. He's been told on by a girl he was in a car with. They found a Glock with an extended magazine. They hit his house or the house he was staying at. They found a short barrel rifle. They found another Glock that they tied to an Instagram post. If y'all wanna see all this get broken down, watch my older video. But to be accused of shooting up your aunt's house according to your aunt and cousins, it's wild and to be accused of shooting at a house full of kids four kids they're really going to try to use that against him in court they're really trying to bury this kid inside of the prison system now there was rumors coming out that cut him re-snitched and i guess they came from glock 9 himself according to the paperwork reese never had anything to do with any of the crimes, his name was never brought up in any of these cases, in any of the paperwork that I've seen, and I've gone through literally everything available through the Orange County Clerk. And what's weird to me is he was charged with the attempted murders way back, and if I remember correctly from the paperwork, he received a $35,000 bond. You only have to pay a percentage in Florida, five attempted murders plus possession of a firearm, $35,000 bond, he was back on the streets, and then he got popped again on another charge. Now he has no bond, and this new state attorney is aggressively trying to make sure he never gets released again. But we'll see how the case plays out. I'll keep y'all posted. It's 1090J. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. Till next time.